Hello, my name is Jessica, and welcome back to Big Odd Story. I've been thinking about going mountain climbing. Can anyone tell me the way to the nearest mountain? Thank you. Have you ever gone mountain climbing? Ooh, talking about mountain climbing reminds me of the part of the Big Odd Story. Before we hear more, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this time to come back today and to learn more about you. Thank you for being the one true God we can rely on anytime and anywhere. May you quiet our hearts so we can focus on the things you are going to teach us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, during our last time together, we heard about how God provided for his people as they lived in the desert after leaving Egypt. God delivered them by sending 10 plagues. He proved to everyone, even the Egyptians, that he is the one true God and worthy of all worship. After three months in the desert, the Israelites arrived at a foot of a mountain called Sinai, where they could worship God. While the Israelites camped at Mount Sinai, the Lord called to Moses. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 3 to 5, it says, Then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob, and what you are to tell the people of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession, although the whole earth is already mine. So what exactly is a covenant? A covenant is a very special promise, and when God makes a promise, he keeps it. God made a covenant with Abraham to bless him and give him many, many family members. Now, at Mount Sinai, God made a covenant with all his people. God loves his people and wanted to show them the best ways to live and to worship him as the one true God. Why? Because he is the one true God. God also told Moses he would come to the people. In Exodus chapter 19 verse 9, the Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the people will hear me speaking with you and will always put their trust in you. Then Moses told the Lord what the people had said. God also told Moses to have the people wash their clothes and prepare themselves to see God. If you had been one of the Israelites getting ready, how do you think you might feel? Well, three days later, God appeared with thunder and lightning. with a thick cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp shook with fear. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 18 to 19, says mount sinai was covered in smoke because the lord descended on it in fire the smoke billowed up from it like a furnace and the whole mountain trembled violently as the sound of the trumpet grew louder moses spoke and the voice of god answered wow what do you think it would have been like to see all this happen god is the one true god and he is powerful the people stayed at the foot of the mountain while Moses went up to meet with God. There, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are God's laws and instructions. They tell God's people how to live and what it means to be his people. What commandment did God choose to be the very first? The very first commandment tells us to respect God as the one true God. The people had just left Egypt a land where they had worshipped thousands of gods. But the Egyptian gods weren't real. They were false gods. And because God loves his people, 
he made it very simple for them. He told them that there was no other God. He is the one true God. And this became the very first commandment. The rest of the commandments told the people how to live in relationship with God and one another. As the people chose to follow God's commands by trusting and obeying him, the world could see and know that he is the one true God. God chose his people and rescued them. He loved the Israelites and set them apart to worship him as the one true God. And guess what? He chooses and rescues us today. Because of Jesus, we're rescued from our sin and get to be in a relationship with God forever. When we choose to follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit lives inside us and helps us to follow God's ways. He helps us to worship God as the one true God. How can we love God and how can we love others? I hope that we can rejoice in the knowledge that God loves you and offers you a relationship with him. May your life display to others the great things he has done for you. And that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.